Hello everyone, I'm back again with another lesson and today we're going to talk about I'll speaking but in details. How should you prepare? What should you say? How are the questions going to be? Everything is included in this video. So there are three parts of I'll speaking test. Part one is interview. Part two is the cue card and part three is discussion. The exam will start with the interview part where you will seek permission to sit down and the examiner may ask you, how are you, how are you doing? And after that, they are going to ask you all the personal questions that they want to know about you. They will also want to see your passport or ID. So they might say, can I see your ID or can I see your passport? And then you're going to be like, yes, here you are or here you go. Sure. Don't say yes and give that to them. Don't do that. Okay. So um, the interview part starts with your personal questions uh, like do you work or study you can say i study or i work or i do both basically i'm a student at the same time i work for and after that you're going to give the information about your study and your work as well so be honest on this part be uh, very confident about yourself try to provide each and every information about you which is needed or which you want to show off so do that and um, then the questions are going to be like um, do you like your classmates or do you get along with your colleagues which part is your favorite one in study or in your work what is your role at your workplace so in detail so it's going to be very personal and you should know everything about yourself i know it's uh, it sounds very easy that okay i just have to talk about myself but when you are going to face the examiner you will be confused and nervous as well so um you should know about yourself more and more and practice talking about yourself in front of the mirror or you can also talk to someone and play roles as an interviewer and an employee or a candidate okay so um after that it will take a three to five minutes and after that we will start the part two so what do we have in part two part two contains a small topic which will have three to four questions and you will have to talk about two minutes on that you'll have to talk for two minutes and uh, to make sure that you talk about two minutes not less than that and maybe 10 seconds more than that you have to practice a lot you can use a stopwatch at home and practice the timing that will help you a lot to uh, figure out the timing so part two is cue card and we can have different topics on this it can be a person it can be a place it can be um your job it can be an object or a holiday or a time So uh, there will be three to four questions like if we uh, choose this one person there can be a question like who is your favorite person why do you like that person um, did he help you with anything what did you learn from that person so these are the types of the questions that you are going to face and you cannot answer in one word or one sentence because if you do that you won't be able to cover two minutes. So try to give as much as information you can about your favorite person. Talk in details, make it interesting, make it fun, make it natural, but don't over talk. Okay, and then we can have a topic like place, which is your favorite place or a place you have been to. Where did you go last time on your holiday? Who were with you? How did you go there? When did you go? Why did you decide to go there? this could be the questions and job do you like your job why do you like your job what's your role um do you get along with your colleagues uh, would you like to change your job if you can 
and a holiday where was your holiday do you like holidays with whom do you like to spend your holiday these are the questions so what you need to do is there are several topics sample cue cards on the internet you can browse and practice answering those questions and make sure you have a stopwatch in front of you and just start it st uh, start talking about it and notice the timing make sure you can talk for three minutes minimum because that will help you a lot in the exam while giving your speech in the exam you'll be a bit nervous and a lot of logics will just fly away so um that will make it two minutes um more or less so you can try that doing that and then in part three um, we have discussion part discussion part will contain different questions connected to the topic for example if we talked about a person in our cue card now we're going to talk about your family and in this part you won't have to give a speech the examiner will ask you a question you will answer you will give your point of views and remember one thing while you're giving your speaking test you cannot say the sentences as statements these are all your point of views povs like in my point of view the way i see it use these phrases so that it becomes very precise that you are talking from your point of view you are not stating any fact okay and um if uh, the uh, topic is on job there can be what's your aim in life what you want to be or what you want to do in the long run how do you want to help the people of your country or the society it could be anything but yes it would be related to part two and you will have a normal discussion don't try to stretch it don't try to make it long at the same time don't answer in a very short sentence you can um, uh, answer the sentences and then give enough logic to support those sentences so these were the three parts of i speaking i hope you've learned something new today and uh, you have known something new about i speaking test and to know more from our classes <laughs>